My name is Joanne. I started attending Johnson Heights Church last July with my family. My grandmother was very faithful Buddhist, and from her influence, I believed in God from very young age. Because of Buddhism, I believed in reincarnation and karma. So whenever suffering and sadness came in my life, I passively regarded it as the karma of my past life and a penalty from the God. After I married to my husband, we had a ceaseless conflicts, and it made me always depressed. And eventually, I was considering divorce when the Lord came to me and called me to come to him last summer. When my older sister brought my husband and me to this church for the first time, I cried in front of the cross of the Lord. At that time, Pastor Phil came to me and prayed for me. He told, he told us that as my husband and I come closer to the Lord, we would have a closer relationship with each other. Pastor Phil also told us that man was separated from the God because of sins, and death began. However, Jesus died for us to give us salvation and eternal lives. That led, uh, that led me to accept Jesus as my Lord and Savior. After knowing this, I could start to have faith in Jesus, and I began reading the Bible for the first time in my life. It was very difficult for me to believe and accept the Bible literally because I was highly educated in my home country and lived with the belief that seeing is believing. But one day, when I was reading about the apostles of Jesus, I learned a crucial lesson. When Jesus was arrested because of Judas, all of his apostles were busy running away. Although they are the closest ones to Jesus and had seen all the miracles he did. But after they received the Holy Spirit, they preached the gospel without being afraid of death. What made these apostles change so significantly? I came to the conclusion that they had definitely experienced something that could not be explained by common sense or knowledge of man. After I realized this, I could finally read the Bible without any doubt and had been studying the Bible with Tom and Connie's kind mentoring. While reading the Bible, I learned forgiveness and unconditional love from Jesus. Matthew 6.15 if, if you do not forgive man's sins, your Father will not forgive your sins. This verse didn't only make me forgive everyone who wronged me, but also made me realize that I'm also a sinner who needs a forgiveness from God. Jesus restored my broken relationship with my husband, and now I hold my husband's hand and worship the Lord together. As a former Buddhist, my life was full of pain and tears, but now it turned into a life of hope accompanying with Jesus. Now I'm not lonely or sad anymore because I strongly believe that my Lord is alive and He's always stay with me. Today I'm be being baptized to declare that Jesus is my Lord and Savior. Thank you.